Well, someone hit the camper while I was getting coffee. Man. Jeez. Didn't leave a note or anything. Ah, so frustrating. My roof's all smashed in. They got it really bad, the side and the back. Um, I'm gonna go to Home Depot and uh, luckily I have my tools with me, so I'm just gonna start rebuilding it and see if I can borrow a ladder, but pretty frustrating. So messed up when people do stuff that's wrong and just don't. I don't know, make any effort to make it right. It's pretty messed up. That is what's wrong with the world these days. Right. We're gonna deal with it the best way we can, which is just fixing it, so that's what we're doing now. Almost to Home Depot. I just get a phone call from uh, the police uh, saying they're gonna check the security cameras, then I missed uh, the exit to Home Depot, so we're turning back around. I'm gonna go back down there. All right, we're here, Home Depot parking lot. Let's uh, find a spot, maybe we'll go to Lowe's. Kind of a crowded little parking lot. All right, I just went over to Lowe's. The parking lot's a little bigger, so let's uh, take note of the damage and see what we need to get here. Looks like this one on the side up there. Oh yeah, ripped off my entire fascia board. Um, I guess I could cut it there and finish off the back. That's the other part of the fascia board right there that ripped off. Messed up the rear fascia board too, bent the metal up. Got it pretty freaking good. Split the porch a little bit right there. Should be all right though. Let's uh, get to fixing. First thing I'm gonna do is get the tape measure. Yeah, man. Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> awesome. Had a fun project. <laughs> project. Had like a little hit and run in downtown Bend and ripped the corner of the roof off. So here, no way. Yeah, here to fix all that. Now. Oh, I don't know how they cut it like. Must have been a tall truck or something. Awesome. Or if these guys will let you use a ladder or something if they have any in there, you know. Where are here, these guys. Yeah, maybe these guys have one next door or something. What are you gonna do? What do you want to do? I just like go, go get some new fascia boards and trim them in and. Cut them up and whatnot. Cut them up. So, yeah. Okay. Let's get it so it's not dangling off like that. Yeah. There's something absolutely. to keep the grace from flapping up. Yeah. You live in Alaska, huh? Yeah. You been up there or no? Nope. Yeah. I, mean, I, just, I just got a, a sprinter van. Oh, my nice. Wife and I. Oh, not for doing this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where were you at in town? Oh, uh, just kind of right in the corner of the coffee shop in a major intersection, you know? So, one of those things. At least it's a nice day to work on it. Yeah, that's, that's a shame. That's no, all right. Huh. All right, well, good luck with it. Yeah, yeah. Not everybody in Ben's like that. Yeah, yeah, I, feel, I mean, it's been nice until that, you know, it's, I don't know, if, it's what it is. New yeah. challenge for the day. Uh, all right, have a good one. Yeah, you too, man. So it looks like we need to get a one by four. That'll do that fascia board back here, and this one over there. Um, kind of ripped up the gray size and water shield, but it's over the porch, which doesn't really need to be totally watertight, so that's all right. Um, I can bend the metal back down. I think we're gonna be all right, so. All right, so fortunately we don't need a ton of stuff, but uh, I've got my little list here, and we're gonna go ahead and Lowe's over here, and uh, I'm gonna see if I can borrow a ladder. Hopefully I can, otherwise it's gonna be a little tricky to reach this stuff. I have a random question for you. Uh, someone had a little hit and run downtown, and I've got like a camper built in the back of my truck so I'm trying to repair the roof. You guys have like a ladder I can borrow for maybe like 30 minutes or something? I'm gonna get some wood from you guys and repair it. That would be awesome. I was looking for something that's just like 10 feet in here so I can't quite reach it, but I'm gonna buy some wood from you guys, so. Okay, that's all right. All right, so I'm in Lowe's and they don't have a ladder for me to use. <laughs> Sounds impossible, but anyway, I'll figure it out. Um, I don't have my circular saw with me, unfortunately, but measuring tape. 
So I didn't get a ladder. They didn't have one apparently. So I'm gonna stand on this. Yeah, I just filming right now. You know what? I've seen you. Yeah, it's a chance, for sure. Huh? It's passing through. Where are you going? Uh, just kind of towards like Colorado and Reno area, eventually. Yeah, it's had the old hit and run in downtown Bend, and someone like ripped the corner of the roof off. So, thought I'd stop and fix it here. Oh, so that's what you YouTube? Yep. And you and you built that yourself? Yeah, sure did. Well. It's homemade and it's cool looking. I like that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and you got a, you got your dude on on your bird. Oh yeah, yeah. Glad they didn't take that out. Yeah, got to go you know, it. It's probably pretty close to it. Did you make that yourself? No, I have a buddy in Wisconsin that makes those. He just does all kinds of crazy just art. You just kind of tell him what you're looking for, and he'll use like snow machine clutches and saw cool. blades and. All kinds of fun stuff, you and know. That's that's another thing that I, that I want to do as well. As well, yeah. It's not that hard. It's just like you're just melting, pretty much just gluing metal together, you know. Yeah, be careful though. You can set your stuff on fire. I guess your clothes. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah, just gotta like keep some water nearby and stuff. I have a friend that just did that. Kyle Lane. He just oh caught, yeah. Yeah. Oh, caught his house on fire or something. He got himself on fire. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you totally can. The sparks flying everywhere. Where did you hit that at? Oh no, someone hit me in downtown Bend. I just came out from getting a coffee and some moving truck had like crushed my roof in and there's like wood all over the street and stuff. Didn't leave a note or anything, so I'm like, Ugh. Oh. Okay. But at least it's fixable, you know? Yeah. Why did you decide to do this? Oh, the camper? Yeah, the travel. Oh, just, uh, I do like, started doing it for a living a little while ago. Just because you have no kids, no wife. Exactly, yeah. 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 It's kind of fun. You. Good luck on your little trip. Yeah, should go pretty smooth after this. Just a little hiccup. Yeah, and the door is cute too. Oh, look at the yeah, window. Yeah, you can peek in there if you want. Do you? Yeah. Can I? Yeah, totally. Oh. Should be unlocked, I think. I'm going to rebuild those stairs after this next project. Oh my god, how cool. It's really roomy. Yeah, it's not bad when you get in there. You know, it's got like toilet and bridge and you got a TV. This, you can step out if you want to, but. Yeah, you got a little porta potty going on. Here. Yeah, it's all the stuff. Did you just take a design from somewhere else? No, I yeah, just sketched it out in paper and did it. Yeah, it's not like a big space, but it's like, you know, that's all you need, you know? Yeah, especially if there's only one or two of you. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like, um, you might be too young, but the Beverly Hillbillies. Oh, yeah, used to watch those guys. Yeah, I love those guys. Yep, well, Jed. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I grew up in like North Georgia Mountains, so it's like, yeah, watch all that stuff. I should let you go and do your part. Yeah, that's right. I'll be here a while. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look you up on YouTube. Well, yeah, yeah, probably like a video on this in like three weeks here. I'll say, hey, do you remember me when I met in the corner? I find yourself in it. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, it's like the thing's been recorded all times. Oh, it's, oh, and I walked up there, yeah. I should have waited. Good, yeah. Now's your chance. What is your name? Oh, Timmy. Timmy. Yeah. I had a dog named Timmy. I had to put him away after oh, no. years. I loved him. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Susie is my name. Susie, yeah, good to meet you. You too, Timmy.
Might have goofed a little bit. I forget this isn't a 45 degree pitch. This is like a 612, so I have to do some adjustments. Got this different pitch. I'm really fortunate it's sunny outside, so it's really nice right now. All right, a little update. It looks horrible right now, but it's just what I can do in the parking lot. It's gonna varnish it so it'll match it a little bit, but it's better than it was. So I'll bend this roof back over and start working on the stairs here. It's got to be weird being a YouTuber and having people show up knowing your name and shit. Yeah, you get used to it after a while. It's been yeah. so oh, nice, man. Old Novo. Yep. Yeah, I got the Novo. Yeah. We put the Trail 900 up yep. on top. You know, then I then I did the side boxes. Side boxes. Yeah, it makes dude. a difference. You actually oh, have places for your killer. stuff. Well, and I, I got one for recovery gear, one for tools, yep. one for spare parts. Then you're ready. Yeah, exactly. For whatever. All right, take care. Cool, man. Take it easy. Yep. Bye. All right, on to the next assignment. We're going to repair these stairs. They've uh, not been tall enough ever since I did the lift in the truck, so let's see if that'll do it there. Stairs have been rebuilt. So let's go here. Oh, no, way better. Oh no. But oh, close. Alright. Much better angle. Now it's actually kind of straight. So anyway, when I put all the hardware on, we'll be done. Back in the road. Thank you, Lowe's. All right, y'all, we're about to go do some boating. 
Uh, as you guys saw, I just finished fixing uh, the truck house from a hit and run. That was pretty cool. And then I repaired the stairs as well. Now we're gonna go uh, do some paddling. It's pretty cool too. This is one of my old Alaska buddies uh, from a really long time ago. He, I guess, lives around here. And we're beating up with those guys. Gonna go floating. All right, y'all, we're here at the put-in uh, for the Meadows Run of the Deschutes River. I could be wrong. Wait. Class four-ish. Easy five, I don't think there's even five on it. But anyway, we're gonna take the pack raft for the first time ever. This is the new Alpaca Vacri 3. So it's their third rendition of it. And uh, like I was saying, I flew down forever ago, down to a kind of a Mancos, Colorado, pretty close to Telluride, which is where the Alpaca factory is. And uh, I just helped do some R&D with Sherry on some thigh strap stuff and white water design. So it's really cool to see how far these things have came and really stoked to get this thing out. So uh, it's been a long morning after the hit and run, but uh, let's go blow some steam. Yeah, so this is it right here, I'm gonna pack it down too. So let's get this thing out and uh, show you guys what it looks like, show you what it can do. All right, here we go. So yeah, this is uh, this is the Deschutes River, in fact. This is the Meadow Camp section, kind of a class four section. And uh, this is my first time paddling the Alpaca Vacri. It's supposed to be the narrower, tippier one. Anyway, we got uh, maybe a one hour paddle down to town. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna see how this thing feels. Literally just got all the uh, outfitting dialed in somewhat. Perhaps dial in more, but. Here we go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Take a little bit of playing around with this thing to get it dialed. Feels reasonable enough. Kind of want to try rolling it just to know. Yeah, watch out out in here. There's some shallow rocks. Is there? Around. You can see them, but just before it gets lit. Be aware. Yeah, the right side's cliffy. Gotcha. But as you're approaching it, the right side looks like the way to go. So use your okay. judgment. If you want to go right, yeah. it's fine. Fair enough. I'll just follow you guys. Ooh, this thing's fast. That's crazy, man. It's so much faster than the little short ones. It's wild. Actually paddle up string. Yeah, it's like they're newer. It's like a new prototype of the Valkyrie, but it's pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, here we go. This is it. River Rim Park put in. We're gonna be heading downstream into some rapids. This thing, the two seconds I paddled it, feels awesome. It is definitely tippier than my Wolverine is, but not a ton tippier. Or like, it is in the beginning, but then there's like a secondhand stability that kind of catches you once you get over a little bit. Which means it's probably pretty easy to roll, which is a good thing. Um, the stern's insane, um, and it just feels fast, which is awesome. I'm excited, let's do it. Here's the first wrap in the Alpaca Valkyrie. Let's see how it goes. Lots of eddies. Woo, that water feels good. Nice. There's a lot of water in this river, I'm surprised. For how like dry everything is. Hands are all cramping up. They start drinking water. Just some boogie water for 120 yards. Okay. Then Eddie on the left. Gotcha. And then there's a rapid call, damn it. I don't know if you remember that one, but there's canal intake on the right. Yeah, it's like a weird ferry or something. That's not bad at all. But yeah. 
canal intake's out of play. Okay. It's a four foot ledge with a run out. Nice. And then there's an eddy on the left down there. Sounds good. Yes. Jeez, there's like an intake over there. This thing's pretty cool, man. Definitely different than a kayak. Um, it gets pulled laterally real easy, whereas a kayak just kind of like, maybe a little bit easier to keep on line once you know how to paddle it. Little booth here, I guess, of some sorts. something? Well, Don't you kind of like, well, yeah, I'll just watch. There's like some holes in the left or something, right? Well, the spray is, I'll show you. Yeah. The old direct line. You gotta try to get over it. I've got you. Definitely, you get type rider more than you do in a kayak, it kind of pulls you. Nice. All right. <laughs> Pretty crazy rapid. That one went tough. Yeah, nice. That looked cleaner. It's a little easier, yeah. especially in this boat. Yeah, totally. And then it's a super cool move out of this eddy. Yeah, yeah, the little dangerous. ferry. Totally. Sometimes you get shoved back in here to paddle out. Yeah, just paddle hard. Yeah. <laughs> Try pack rafting, uh, you probably should. You don't have to do stuff like this, you know. You can do pretty chill stuff, but they're really forgiving and really fun. So my thoughts on this so far: really awesome boat. It takes a little bit longer to turn than the shorter ones, but it's so much faster. There's a significant increase in hull speed with this boat, and you definitely notice it. it's nice. Especially if you come into stuff really fast and hot, you feel like you're gonna carry yourself all the way through it. New spray skirt's awesome too, it feels super dry. All right, this rapid coming up is called Amazing, and uh, I guess there's a bunch of lateral ledges and you gotta tee up with them. Try to keep the bow up, do some booping. Let's see. Let's come paddle this again tomorrow. It's pretty fun. Now I gotta make it down first though. <laughs> Go over. Oh yeah, right there. Alright, here we go. This looks like a rapid. <laughs> Little poop right here.
So the second hand stability on this is pretty awesome. That rapid, I just got a little bit tippy in it and the boat started to go over and then it just stopped. I barely had to brace, so pretty cool. Funny yeah, it kind of is. It's all over the place. Yeah, you barely see what's going on. That was a fun one, though. Oh, man. Yeah, I can see that getting meaty when the water comes up. We're at this rapids called Mario Land, I guess. Really shallow. We're going to bounce down it. There we go. That's smoother than I thought it'd be. All right, this is our next rapid. It's called 100%. I guess it's got a wave that you go flying off the top of, catch your air off it. So let's see. <laughs> that looks like it's it. get out of that thing. Oh yeah, it just, oh, yeah, it's just gonna sink. Oh yeah, new spray skirt's pretty nice. Ugh. It's funny, you know, you don't have to change your paddling style in that thing. No, no, it's you like- know, I was watching you boof everything. Yeah, it's and, fairly similar. You just like, yeah, just drive towards stuff. The bow stays up easier. Just keep going. You know? Yeah, because it's That's, so freaking light. Too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It oh, take much fun. to keep it up. Oh, cool. I'm glad that worked out. Yeah, man. Glad we get to meet you guys. Yeah. That's a really cool run to have right there in your backyard. All right. Woo. Pretty awesome. Um, love this boat. Freaking sweet. It is only slightly tippier than my Wolverine, but feels twice as fast. And, uh, yeah, it just feels, feels nice. Paddles way more like a kayak, so I'm pretty stoked on it. Yeah, if you guys are looking for a pack raft, a um, bunch of different brand names out there, but all I will buy is Alpaca. That's all I've ever bought. Tried the other ones, uh, nothing really compares. So you can check them out online, Alpaca Raft, and uh, a bunch of different models, but this one is pretty fun. Town by like five or tempt it. Yeah, some I mean, friends that are doing like an open mic, I guess. Where is it? It's like at the uh, some place like right downtown at the search of the sea, the commons. Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah, there's yeah. something out that way. So. That's over uh, on the river, kind of behind yeah. the town. Yeah, there should be parking right next to it on both sides. Nice. Pack back up. All right, y'all, we're to our spot, downtown Bend. Just gonna camp right here in the park. There's a bunch of other vans around doing the same thing. So what we're gonna do, uh, I gotta dry some paddling gear out and uh, go get uh, ready for the night in the back. Home sweet home for the night, right here in downtown Bend, the river park. Um, I got a little bit of computer work to do actually, so I'm gonna work on that a little bit. And then, uh, 
me have some tea and relax for a change. And uh, see you guys in the morning. The hands were cramping up like crazy when I was paddling today, so I'm gonna get some electrolytes in me. I think I probably need them. I've been drinking like literally nothing but coffee every day. And that's pretty much it. Oh, so good. All right, it is. It is bedtime. Let's go to bed. So usually when I'm in here by myself, which is normal, I uh, just pull out half the bed. So I pull out like this slap bed here. And I kind of just sleep in this half of the camper. I don't need to pull it all the way out. And, and then if I do that, you can kind of like stand up in between the, the couch and the bed, and get around and whatnot. So that's my system. I'm sticking to it. See you guys in the morning. Ooh. It's like the cops are pulling someone over right behind me here. Hopefully they're all right. 